Hi everyone. Hey, I just want to talk today about some night sky observing I've been doing in February and March of 2024. I've been mostly recording satellites, but since there's been a lot of talk about UAPs in the news lately, I thought it would be interesting to see if there were any suspicious objects flying around up there. Since satellites tend to travel at constant speed in a straight line, what would be really interesting is if I could catch an object changing direction or speed suddenly. The scope that I'm using is a QHY black and white CCD camera that is typically used as a guiding camera on telescopes. For the optics, I chose a CS lens with a zoom of 5 to 100 millimeters. Because of its light weight, I was able to mount it on a small camera tripod. I typically use a 0.1 second shutter speed and capture video using SharpCap. Now for satellite identification, I used web-based Sabre astronautics software since it allows real-time tracking of satellite positions as seen from my geographic location. Typically I would see about 100 satellites after dusk, and this method allowed me to identify almost all of them. I tended to point the camera at between 30 to 60 degrees up to avoid getting a lot of plane traffic in the video, but these are fairly easy to distinguish. Typically, planes would be obvious due to their brightness, navigation lights, and contrails. Birds also do occasionally fly at night, but these would appear as shadowy blurs soaring or flapping through the field. Although it is still winter, a few insects did come out on one mild evening, and these were easily identified due to their erratic motion. One strange phenomenon that I did observe was these rapid streaks passing across the field of view. There are some examples shown here, some of which appear closer or further away from the camera. I found that moving the camera to a place that had no street lights nearby tended to reduce these flashes significantly, so I suspect at least some of them are due to something local being lit up by the street lights. So having eliminated most of these artifacts, I'm now going to focus on the low Earth orbit satellites and any unknown objects that might be resembling these. I have some examples shown here, and one common characteristic of satellites is that they tend to travel in pretty much straight lines across the sky, which makes them then fairly easy to identify. When using a CCD camera, it becomes quickly obvious that the sky at night after dusk is thick with satellites. Sometimes there are as many as seven in the field of view at the same time. But as I said earlier, with patience, it's possible to identify just about all of them. 80-85% 80 of these are Elon Musk's Starlink satellites. He has launched thousands of them in the last few years, and they are everywhere in the night sky. There was also a lot of fragments of rocket debris floating around up there, and they're also often seen here as uh, tumbling or flashing objects. One strange thing that I keep, kept on seeing night after night is what appeared to be stationary flashes in the night sky. There was one I saw so often I called it the Southern Beacon because I saw it on several consecutive nights in the same part of the sky every 16 seconds or so. After some investigation, I figured out that this particular flasher was a graveyard satellite called Ghost 10, which was nearly 39,000 kilometers away. Another mostly stationary, very bright flashing object was seen on March 7th, and it turned out to be another satellite called Inmarsat 6F2. Now, it turns out that there were at least three objects out of about 400 satellites that I observed that couldn't be identified. What I was looking for were low Earth orbit objects similar to satellites that were not on the Sabre Astronautics database. And what would be most interesting is if one of these objects would deviate from a straight trajectory, perhaps make a rapid bend in its movement, which would be impossible for a satellite to do. The first one that I observed was peculiar because I managed to video it passing through the Pleiades on close up at around 9.20 p.m., which on that night was about 3.5 hours after sunset, so long after any satellite should be visible. However, its trajectory was perfectly straight and constant, so I just classified it as suspicious. Another object was captured coming from behind some clouds and flashed intermittently as it moved. Again, there was no corresponding satellite on Sabre Astronautics, and again, its trajectory was straight, so this one was also suspicious. Yeah, this object just continued to flash intermittently as it got towards the top of the screen. So it's quite peculiar. However, the last object of this group is the most interesting. It was spotted on March 7th around 8:10 p.m., so at that time, most of the satellites had disappeared to their being in the shadow of the Earth. However, this object, although having the outward appearance of a of satellite, was seen to zigzag across the field of view, changing direction twice. 
On checking with the website database, there again was no known satellite moving in that area with that trajectory. This is the first object that met all of our criteria for a UAP, so I think this was perhaps my first bona fide sighting. Anyway, I'm going to keep on observing and hopefully I'll be able to report new sightings in the coming weeks or months. Thanks for watching.